I wake up every morning and I realize I get to hang out with dogs all day. organization that provides an educational program to students to try to keep them in school while training dogs to become service dogs for people with disabilities. Our community canines also do reading buddy programs. It's an excellent um, culminating activity for these high school students to be leading a dog in an environment where they're helping another younger student um, get over their fears of, of maybe reading aloud in public or reading aloud at all. The door opened and came out the butcher with a large meaty bone in his hand. Mom and Matthew watched as Bear wagged his tail and woofed. It makes me more comfortable and it makes me pay attention more. Yeah, and I love dogs. He crawled over to the dog. Okay, fine. I'll try. You like it? Give me a kiss as you do. <laughs> So the students earn credits and they learn our educational program which is directly tied with the Ontario curriculum. It's a great way the kids are engaged and they're getting a credit and most kids are successful at this course because this is something that they really shine at. I love the Reading Buddy program because I used to be really shy when I was younger so I love just like maybe helping them be like not shy I guess. I've been working with COPE since I was in grade 9. Uh, I just found the program through having a lot of anxiety and, and uh, not really wanting to come to school and it gave me a reason to come. Uh, I started coming every day, attending was a lot better and as a result my grades got a lot better too. I, I don't think I'd be in the position I'm in now without them. There's a lot of different skills that I've learned. I, th I think a big one I learned was patience. Uh, I trained two different puppies uh, right off the bat and you, you got to be really patient with them so, so that's transferable with dealing with people, dealing with customers, things like that. So just having that skill is really important. And then um, with my anxiety, it was just, it was really just a reason to come to school and, and make friends and kind of be involved in something other than just doing schoolwork and, and feeling the pressure of playing sports and all that kind of stuff that's involved with high school. So just coming and just being with the dogs was a, a, a really good release and a really good way to, to kind of get more involved. I'm Ocean and I'm 16 years old. I've been with canines in the classroom for a year now and I've now become a peer tutor for students that are learning the new, the basics of the course. Please put your hand way down by his paw and I'll say the command. Shake. Yes. Good boy. Um, my favorite part is letting the dog go, actually. It's, it's kind of, it's bittersweet that you have to say goodbye, but Daisy, she went to Simcoe Hospice and now she is doing amazing things. I couldn't ask for anything more. Some of the things that uh, we teach the dogs to do to help somebody in a wheelchair would be retrieving things that are out of reach. So on the ground or too high up, paying a cashier for example, sometimes the counter is too high for somebody in, who's seated to, to be able to do the transaction. So the dog can help that way by giving the wallet to the cashier and taking it back. Uh, turning on lights that are too high, pushing the door button to open the door, or sometimes even tugging the door open. Um, you know, they can take off clothing, get stuff out of cupboards, do the laundry by collecting up the laundry and putting it in a basket and even putting it in and out of the dryer. So there's lots of really handy things that dogs can do and the students have a big part in teaching the dogs how to do those things. A lot of the students that are in our program do have some disabilities like autism or some have severe anxiety and so those are all the things that dogs can help um, people with. We don't train dogs specifically for autism but uh, we do find that our dogs have had a huge impact on the mental health of many people and so we have placed some um, with clients who have depression and social anxiety with, with great success. One of our biggest challenges is finding sustainable funding for our program. So we have a drive on right now for people to become sustainable partners and donating monthly so that we can cover our costs. And after we've covered our costs for where we're located now, we want to expand to other areas. <laughs>